So this is the day we're back to filling bags. Ooh, this is exhausting. We're not done with snakes yet. This is pretty incredible. Teamwork. Teamwork. So this is it. So this is the day we're back to filling bags. As you can see, I'm getting water from our totes. This is all rainwater. I'll be filling water, prepping dirt, bringing dirt up to Jess. Just gonna start getting the bags, and she'll be filling the bags. All right, I already have some dirt in this cart, so why not use this, right? Start adding water. Now, if I were thinking ahead, I might have added some of this water last night. So before we start building again, I gotta cut up a bunch of this wire. I need approximately eight foot sections. So what I did was I set up my cinder blocks, put a little bar in between here, and then I got my roll of wire. So I just run the wire out for a bit, cut it, good to go. I cut about 32 of them, I think. almost ready. I gotta get that dirt ready. I gotta get that up there. Of course, now that the rainy season is over, it's gonna start to get hot and dry again. That's kind of the cool thing about working on the inside is that we'll get less wind in here, less sun. If our dirt's in here, it shouldn't dry out as quick. Of course, once I take it up top, all bets are off. Pretty much what I'll be doing for the day is going out there, prepping the dirt, filling the cans, taking the cans up there. So I'm just gonna keep doing it. As quick as I can get the cans up there for dirt for her, uh, the quicker she can fill those bags and the quicker we can get this done. So just come shooting back and forth, bringing dirt. She'll be up there filling the bags. Uh, we'll see how this goes. She doesn't wanna make two trips. Look at this, hands full. Oh, look at that. She needs to make two trips, she's got all this. Well, we were almost ready for bags. Uh, we forgot uh, we're adding wire to the barbed wire. And we're adding it for a possible addition to the house. We might end up adding straw bales to the outside of this. Nothing's 100%, but we want to be ready to add straw bales if we end up doing that. So this wire will be a key component into being able to secure the straw bales to the outside of the dome. First bag getting filled. Three bags in. All right, it uh, took probably about three, three and a half hours, but we got half of this course done. The first half was pretty taxing. It's pretty taxing uh, bringing all that dirt up uh, the ladder, but we're getting it done. We're getting it done pretty quick. Not sure what time it is. Just been out here busting butt. I think we're almost three quarters of the way done. Whew, this is exhausting. I almost forgot what it was like to fill in bags again. How you doing up there? She's hanging in there. Still getting dirt ready, sending it up to Jess. And the clouds have rolled in and man, it feels amazing. We even had a couple of drops of rain. I don't know if you could tell by my voice, man, I am sweating like crazy. I'm probably parched. I'm trying to drink as much water as I can. I probably drank about a gallon of water so far. How much water do you think you've drank? She probably drank about a gallon too. Look at these clouds though, they're beautiful. These clouds are a lifesaver, hey? 
<laughs> Would you look at this? Would you look at this? Uh, course number 23 is almost done. Look at this hard-working lady right here. I just want to say I'm not doing a bad job myself, okay? This dirt gets up here somehow. Looks like there's a storm and it might be heading our way. It's pouring right now just south of us. We might not have too much time to get this done. And for all those asking if we have neighbors, here they are. They're probably not too happy with me filming their house. This is it y'all, this is it. Coming down hard. ladies and all pro. Course 23 done. How you feeling? Tell them how you feeling. I'm pretty tired. <laughs> I'm tired too. I gotta get to Tampa because that storm looks like it's coming. Coming in hot and heavy. How do you feel after yesterday? I actually feel okay this morning. Uh, I, was, I was pretty sore last night. I think we were both pretty sore last night. Well, I wanted to get the uh, barbed wire done last night, but everything just, just got uh, way too late. Uh, we got a little bit of rain. There was no way we could do barbed wire last night. That's okay. We'll knock out the barbed wire today. And then we'll start up. We're going to do another course of bags. As you can see, we're covered kind of head to toe. And that's partially to protect us from the sun, but also partially to protect us from all the mosquitoes out here. Well, for me, like up there, there's not a lot of mosquitoes. Oh. But there were a lot of flies and little sweat bees. And I was getting stung by the sweat bees. Oh, that's why the full pants today. <laughs> That is it, barbed wire is done. It's already hot and buggy out. You're saying this outfit may not work for you today, huh? No, I'm afraid I'm gonna get overheated. And this <laughs> shirt, it's, we bought it specially. Uh, it's supposed to be like a cooling type shirt. Do you feel cool? No, I feel hot and sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. It has an inside pocket. Oh. There you go. That's totally worth it. Second bag and you're needing more dirt. I'll bring some up. At your service, ma'am. See, this is what Jess does when I'm too slow with the dirt. Sweeping. <laughs> a happy home is a tidy home. So it's about noon right now. We're gonna finish up this bag and we're gonna take a little lunch break. We're not quite nearly as far as we were yesterday. But I think both of us agree. I think uh, for our first course back, I think we went a little hot and heavy for that course. So this course, we're just gonna take it a little slower take our breaks when we need it so we're not as depleted by the end of the day. So Jess and I are going to tackle this uh, last bag here. We're going to get a little something to eat. All right, we just got back from lunch. We were just about to start working again, I swear. I personally feel like it's a little too windy. And I don't feel comfortable with her being up there. But uh, I think too, like, we are pretty exhausted. I mean, getting back into bags after taking like a few months off, I think we're both feeling it. We're not even halfway yet, but, uh, you know, we're gonna take our time and we're going to, we're just gonna make sure we do it safely and that we're not hurting ourselves doing it. So we're just gonna give it a little time for this wind to calm down, give our bodies a little break, 
and then we'll be right back out here trying to finish this up. It's in the evening. Winds should be calming down pretty soon. Uh, temperatures should be uh, starting to drop. So we're going to get back out here and we're going to try and do as much as we can do. This is going to continue on until tomorrow. There's no doubt about that. We're not going to be able to finish all this. Uh, we still have over half to do, but we can get in there. Uh, I got enough dirt prepared for uh, three, maybe four bags. And then we'll just uh, knock out as much as we can tonight. We'll have to finish it off in the morning. There's no, no getting around it, but we don't want to take our chances with the, uh, with the wind. All right, so it's early in the morning. Oh, rabbit. Good morning, rabbit. Now we did get out here later on in the evening and we did some more work. We got a bunch done. I'm surprised we kind of came back out. We were both tired, both exhausted, but we came out and we knocked a bunch of bags out. Now we're not done. Maybe uh, nine bags left or so, but uh, it's gonna get hot today and it's gonna get windy. Uh, if we can get these bags filled so I can tamp this out before the wind starts really picking up, that would be fantastic. So I'm out here. I already let the chickens out. I already took crew for a walk. I can fill all the cans and the wheelbarrow. That'll get us about four bags in. So we're almost halfway there at that point. Justice should be out here soon. We're going to knock this out super quick. I got to show you guys this. We're not done with snakes yet. <laughs> This is pretty incredible. Got a king snake crawling up on our wall. Wow, hanging out right in the shade. That's pretty impressive. It's pretty wild, huh? Uh, I didn't realize what good climbers they are. <laughs> Does that scare you? A little bit. It's almost a completely vertical surface, just using the little grooves to maneuver around. I don't know how he's doing it. I think they're constrictors. Yeah. So they have very strong muscles. I always like seeing those because I know they're supposed to be immune to rattlesnake venom, and they do eat rattlesnakes, so we could use more of those snakes. It's over five feet up there. I think he's having a tougher time now. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh no! Dang. That was dramatic. Go find some rattlesnakes to eat. <laughs> do your job. That way he could surprise us. <laughs> we need to fling a tarp back over. So you ready to work? You all rested? Ready to go? Yeah. So just as all rested, ready to go. We're out here, ready to get it done. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> oh. Algae's still bothering you a little bit, huh? A little bit. Alright, well I got a whole bunch of dirt prepared. I even got it up to the law for you. Yeah, you're ready to start filling bags whenever you're ready. Alright. Alright, you're ready to knock this out? Nine bags. Oh, snake's headed towards the chickens. It went into the grass. Oh, man. So... We did it, Jess. Two courses, almost 60 bags, probably 56 bags altogether. But you notice that uh, it took 28 bags for course 23 and 28 bags for course 24, but some of those bags were kind of partially filled. Eh? So the next course we go after that, I'll probably have even less and then even less as we go up. It's kind of exciting. Uh, we did these last nine bags, I think, in record time, didn't we? Yeah, I think we were motivated to just uh, get done with it. We needed to get this done. There's no way we could have kept up this pace like all day. Once Jess got out here, she was hanging in there like a champ. Uh, I was digging up that dirt, getting it up there. Um, we got it done. Uh, definitely took longer than I anticipated. Part of that was because of the wind. And part of that is just, I mean, we were just beat. Are you still exhausted? Yeah, I am. We haven't done the bags for a while, so it's kind of hard to get back into it. I guess it was kind of foolish of me thinking that we could just uh, get back into the bags and be in tip-top shape like yeah. we were when we were doing it before. 
think we need to build up that stamina. Uh, but, you know, as the dome gets higher up, the diameter is going to get smaller and smaller, so it should get easier to do each course. So we're at 12 feet right now. we got approximately eight more feet to go before this is done. I'm excited. This is what an all pro looks like right here. This is, <laughs> just says we could have used another cam, but she just went with it. I think it's looking pretty good. Woo! That's it, course number 24 is done. Oh, so is this memory card. Uh, my hat's off to this lady as she worked super hard getting this done. I don't know how you do it. Uh, teamwork. Teamwork. Uh, although course number 24 is filled, I still got to get up there and I got to get this tamped. So my job isn't done yet. So I'm going to get up there before this wind really starts picking up and starts blowing me over the edge. Two courses in the bag. I'm loving it. We'll catch you guys on the next video. Thumbs up, everyone. Later.